Do you like big zooms and you cannot lie? So much that the other brothers just can't deny? Then bust a move and get funky with my Canon PowerShot SX40 HS review. Mike Perlman here for Techno Buffalo, reviewing the Canon PowerShot SX40 HS, a camera that is big, it's bad, and it's obscene. And by obscene, I mean a 35x optical zoom lens with 24 millimeter wide angle capability. This thing is a stalker's dream. The Canon PowerShot SX40 HS shares many of the same features with last year's SX30 IS, but take note of that name change, IS to HS. Yes, a new sensor is at play here. It's a 12.1 megapixel CMOS sensor, which allows this camera to have a max 3200 ISO, which is a boost from last year's 1600. That's pretty big. Also, the PowerShot SX40 HS receives Canon's new Digic 5 image processing, meaning this camera is faster. It can take up to eight frames per second at full resolution in burst mode. This camera also has better noise management and HD video has been boosted to 1080p at 24 frames per second. I noticed a fairly significant upgrade in image quality. I was able to shoot at higher ISOs and attain the same results that I was able to with last year's SX30 IS and its CCD. There was a noticeable improvement in low light and high ISO quality. 1080p videos were actually very impressive. Overall image quality, definite improvement from last year's SX30. For a 1 over 2.3 inch sensor, this camera is about as good as you can get. Now let's talk about image stabilization. One of the most important things for a camera like this, you have a fixed lens, 35x optical zoom. I will tell you that at full telephoto, I was able to snap crisp, sharp images with this camera thanks to the optical image stabilization. This camera also has new intelligent IS which selects from six different types of image stabilization depending on the scene and offers powered IS for keeping the camera steady during recording videos. I will say that it is a little harder to keep the camera steady while recording videos but for still images the image stabilization is fantastic. You'll notice that the design of the SX40 HS is relatively unchanged from last year. We have the same flip up flash, giant chunky mode dial, We've got a hot shoe on top, an electronic viewfinder, and we've got a circular control dial in the back. Also, Canon retained the uh, flip-out vari-angle LCD. It's a 2.7 inch with a 230,000 pixel display. I have to say, when you use the manual focus with the focus assist that magnifies the frame, it's uh, like trying to discern pixels out of a uh, George Surratt painting. So Canon definitely needs to improve the LCD resolution on next year's Super Zoom. I enjoyed seeing my old friends again. The ISO, manual focus, exposure compensation, and self-timer shortcut buttons located on the control dial. And one thing to note about this camera is that its battery is twice the size as most power shot cameras, so it lasted twice as long. So stamina on this camera, very good. Despite the fact that the SX40 HS has a lot of manual controls, it's devoid of the super manual controls that you find on cameras like the S100 or G12. For instance, it doesn't have a histogram, it also doesn't have a neutral density filter, and the white balance settings are pretty basic. Aside from custom, you could just do presets. The SX40 HS also lacks HDR mode, but we do get a digital light meter in manual mode, which is very helpful. The shutter speed on this camera can dip down to 15 seconds, though Canon put a cap this year on the ISO. Anything after one second, it defaults to ISO 80. So that's fairly limiting when you want a little more exposure, say 400 or 600, and you're maxed out at 15 seconds with shutter speed. Autofocus was great on this camera. It had flexi zone, which allowed me to move the focus box around the frame. I could also shoot with exposure bracketing. We also had multiple aspect ratios to shoot in. And of course, creative filters like Super Vivid and Toy Camera. Overall, the most prominent new feature on the SX40 HS is its improved image quality. And the best thing about this camera is that it's its price tag has remained the same. At $430, this camera offers better image quality, 1080p HD video, new intelligent image stabilization, faster eight frames per second shooting, an expanded ISO up to 3200, and the same killer diller 35x optical zoom lens with great image stabilization. For the full review with image samples and videos, go to technobuffalo.com. Until next time, I will see you guys later.